Previously in Finera. Ascend words have a true lady in green and black. Um, yeah, God says death leaves your father's house. Go in the name of Jesus. Give me your hand. God says, Forget the former things. Wherever they will pain, he replaces with joy. He says, hope in him again. Believe in him again. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. HIV leaves. In the name of Jesus. Cancer. Arthritis. We cast you from the root. Hallelujah. Send healing. Eh? There's a woman in your home who is sick. Eh? A lady who is at your home. Yeah, there's a lady who is sick. Your mom. She has a back issue. Just you send healing there. God is healing her right now. Right now. Woman, come. Have you heard funny voices? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. What were the voices saying? I could not speak what they were saying. You, you didn't know what they were saying, but there were funny voices coming to your ears. Yeah. Yes, and the Lord told me you were going to run mad. But we're going to change it right now. Somebody stretch your hands towards her. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Go! And never should you come back again. With sound mind, she will leave in Jesus' mighty name. There's a lady. There's a lady next to the lady in pink. Come, you. <laughs> now, I want to tell you something. I saw as like a movie played and you were falling off a uh, border board and you were... <laughs> Give her a mic to tell us what happened. I, I fell off a border in November. Speak loud. I fell off a border border in November. Yes. Not 2015. Yes. You almost killed you. Yeah, I fell under a car. Yeah, I saw the word accident. But we are changing it. Somebody stretch your hands towards her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Her destiny is not going to be robbed by accidents. It shall not be hard that she died of an accident. She will live with long life. She will be satisfied in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Say amen. Say amen. When I was praying for you today, the Lord told me that if a man understands this message today, you're never going to worry about losing. He told me if you understand this, be rest assured. Condition your expectation to know you're not going back where you're coming from. 2 Kings chapter 20 verses 12. So the Bible says at that time Barodash Baladan, the son of Baladan, the king of Babylon, sent letters and a present unto Hezekiah. For he had heard that Hezekiah had been sick. So Hezekiah, his friend Baladan, sends through friends and friends bring him gifts. They come bearing gifts and presents and letters. And then he says, let me show you around. He shows them around. Shows them everything in his house. The Bible says there's nothing of his treasures that he, not, he did not show them. The next verse says, And behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and all that which thy fathers have laid up in thine store and all the things your children shall have. He says, they shall be carried unto Babylon. Even your sons shall be taken as eunuchs. So, Ezekiah said unto Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. And he said, is it not good if peace and truth be in my days? Is it not good? There's something I have inside my spirit that tells me even this thing which looks like it is bad, it is good. That is why in Romans it says, For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purposes. Hallelujah! God works according to your expectation. He said, I have good plans to make you prosper, not to harm you, to give you that future and hope and expected end, but it is important important that you dress certain expectation in your spirit. He says when a man is in that dispensation where he believeth to the end, the Bible says his expectation shall not be cut short. You don't kill expectation. If you expect to die, you're going to die. If you expect to fail, you're going to fail. If you expect to chuck you, they'll chuck you. If you expect yourself to be ugly, we can't help you. If you expect yourself to be a failure, who can help you? He says, why art thou downcast, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted me? He says, hope thou in God, for I shall yet weep. No, 
Praise him for the help of his countenance. Don't be sad. Refuse to be sad. Because sadness disqualifies expectation. Jesus died and raised from the dead. Immortality is brought to light at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Because he needed to show the devil that there is nothing in the life of a Christian that can't come back to life if you want to kill it. The Bible says, had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. That means that when he was on the, on the cross and they were crucifying, boah, boah, the Bible says he was purchasing our eternal salvation. Boah, boah. Now even though he is crying, oh, his spirit is doing like this to us. He says, therefore, I will remember thee from the land of Jordan and from the Harmonites and from the hill of Mizpah. Praise the Lord. You know why? Because Jordan, hills of Mizpah, all of those places, he had victories before. When you're in your hardest times, recite your past victories. When you're in the hardest situation, he says, when my soul is in, in the dumps, listen, when you are down in the dumps, dear soul, why are you crying in the blues? He says, fix my eyes on God. Soon I'll be praising again. He puts a smile on my face. He's my God. Next verse. When my soul is in the dumps, he says, I rehearse everything I know of you. Tell me when I go through some things, I said, God, in 92, you saved me from this. In 2006, I remember that day when I didn't know how I was going to make it through. But you still took me through. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever.